My good gods, I'm in desperate need of a haircut. Welcome, gentlemen. It's time to reset. The winter arc is upon you. This is the moment, this is the time to shine. This is the moment that you reside in your hoodie, hood up, in the gym, aggressive, chasing after your goals, doing what you're supposed to do, and fulfilling your potential. And there is no better time. I always say that things like self-improvement September, we've come to the end of September, and now we are entering into the dark months of the year, all the way up until I would say around April, where the clocks go forwards, <clears throat> daylight hours start to increase, and obviously temptations arise because you're going to want to enjoy and indulge and spend time with friends and family, barbecues, holidays, nights out. And so there's plenty of temptation, plenty of distraction. You're not able to remain focused and dedicated to your craft. But now you have the time. There is no excuse. With moments like these, with months like these, you have to use these opportunities correctly. So this is about resetting because I presume over the summer you indulge in negative habits, poor habits, whether that was drugs, alcohol, drinking, uh, you know, poor food, video games, pornography, masturbation, you name it, a lot of money spent on frivolous pursuits, not even uh, prudently either. So this is the moment, this is a time where you really rein in, you really focus, time to save, perhaps invest, but more importantly, ascertaining what your goals are and really resetting. But what you need to be doing is devising a plan. What is the plan for the next six to seven months? What are you looking to achieve? What are the ambitions? What are the goals that you want to set? So what I want you to do is set a goal for each specific aspect. So in terms of your physical goals, what is your ultimate physical goal in terms of, and when I mean specific, be very specific. So the weight that you want to weigh up. So write down the current weight and, and write down where you want to be in six or seven months. Okay, then write down body fat percentage, then write down, again, in terms of muscle weight as well. So try and break down where you're able to measure it in terms of metrics, where you're able to quantify, and that way you can measure your progress as you go. Emotionally, are you in a bad state of mind? What is uh, the state of your, your mental health? That's very important, depression, anxiety, fear. Perhaps start meditating. I used to meditate, I don't do it anymore. I, well, I am very busy in terms of my schedule, but meditation is something that I would extremely highly recommend if you have a lot of anxiety and fear. So write a brief sentence of how you're feeling mentally <clears throat> and where you would like to be in six or seven months from a mental perspective, a mental point of view. The money that you're earning now, the money you have in your bank account, where would you like it to ideally be in six or seven months? So write down the current moment and write down what you would like to have in six or seven months. So now that you've ascertained what you want goal-wise, and now that you're you're reining in, you're looking to reset, okay, analyze your bad habits. You know, do you masturbate often? Do you skip days when it comes to exercise? Do you even read books? Do you even study? What, what do you do specifically? Break it down hour by hour. Are you productive and are you efficient? I made a video a few days ago in terms of how the average nine to five employee wastes so much time at their work and then they'll turn around and say they're busy. You need to be productive with your time. Um, so really analyze your, your hours, you know, deep in your heart, if you've been productive, if you've been efficient, you know the answer, <clears throat> you know the answer to that. So be honest with yourself. This is just self-reflection because at the end of the day, the more honest you are, the more conducive it's gonna be because it's only gonna help you in the short to long term. So we've ascertained the goals, we've analyzed the daily habits. <clears throat> now that you're looking to eradicate and remove these positive habits, you now want to be incorporating and adding in positive habits, things that are going to be nurturing, things that are going to be positive, things that are actually going to be helping you to actually achieve the goals that you want to achieve, which is obviously the first step. But the main motto, the moral, the, the main message of this story is this. The reason why I don't make the summer arc video, the reason why I don't make the self-improvement video, this is the time to lock in. You don't see me make those videos in May or June because it's a very hard time to do so. It doesn't mean you should toss it all away, but I understand if you're more lenient because you have more obligations, you have more opportunity, and you have to enjoy life. I completely appreciate that. But the winter arc, you really have no other choice. Where are you going? You know, what distraction do you really have outside of Netflix? And you shouldn't be even watching Netflix that much. It should be a very sparse, very rare occasion. You should not be on Netflix. You need to be productive with your time. Are you exercising daily? Are you studying, working on your business daily? Are you earning money? Are you working full time? 
These are questions that you need to ask yourself. If you're not, look to get into the, <clears throat> look to get into these fields and look to get into these aspects and look to ultimately elevate. But this is the time to reset. September's finished. And September went like that. You missed a month of opportunity. But we are only at the beginning. You've got October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months. And of course, if you use first half of April, because things don't really warm up until mid-April anyway. So you've got six to six and a half months to really lock in, really shine. No distraction, no temptation, no money spent on frivolous pursuits. You have the perfect time to really lock in, work extremely hard on your craft, remain perseverant, remain dedicated. This is a time to elevate to the next level. And actually, it's one of my favorite times of the year because this is a time where people can't call me up and say, Kem, let's do this. Spend money on this. Let's travel here. None of that. Don't get me wrong. I love doing those activities, but there's times where you really need to lock in and elevate. And this is the moment. This is the time to shine. This is to actually really move to the next level. And you'll be astonished. You will truly be stunned and astonished at how much progress you make in these next six or seven months. You might even think to yourself, it's only six months. Not only will that time go quickly, but you will be amazed that if you remain consistent to your daily routine, you will be amazed at how much progress you do. And I'm going to end on this point. When you formulate your routine, please ensure that you don't have too much free time, especially if you have an addiction to pornography and, and masturbation. Because I remember when I was breaking through my addiction, the weekdays were fine because I was it was pretty much jam-packed. The weekend when I had much more free time, that was the devil. The idle mind is the devil's workshop. I've said that before and I'll say it again. Please be very careful. So even if you have more time on, on the weekends, please try to fill that up. Take up a hobby, take up a sport, socialise, get out of the house. So please, this is very, very critical, very important. Jam-pack your routine. Make sure you're actually productive. Make sure you're doing things. And as I said, in six to seven months, you'll be astonished. You'll be stunned at how much progress you end up making. So make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.